After suffering a crushing defeat to Ryan Garcia, Devin Haney appeared visibly disheartened as he swiftly left the arena. Eddie Hearn mirrored this sentiment, expressing disappointment in Haney's performance. However, his final statement left many perplexed, adding an unexpected twist to the situation. Really poor, but he got hurt in the first round. I know whether he, you know, how quickly he recovered, but then I had him winning like two. It's probably a controversial thing, and I guess I'm on Devin's side. I actually scored the fight a draw. While Eddie Hearn refrained from placing all the blame on Devin for his defeat, he overlooked acknowledging Garcia's psychological strategy prior to the fight. Watch closely as Devin reacts to Ryan Garcia's mention of Haney's mother before the bout. And, you know, things shouldn't be said. You know, some things you just don't say. And he brought up, he brought up my mom, like, why? Which, I don't even know what, what was his point. Garcia's meticulous focus on psychologically unsettling Devin Haney played a pivotal role in his triumph in this bout. But what did Eddie Hearn and others have to say about this, and what drove Ryan Garcia's victory? Join us as we delve into these questions in this video. Ryan Garcia's performance in the ring was nothing short of brilliant, resulting in his triumph over Devin Haney. The outcome took many, including Haney himself, by surprise, given his sky-high confidence leading up to the fight. Haney, confident in his abilities, anticipated defeating Ryan Garcia and potentially ending his boxing career. However, Garcia employed various verbal tactics, including references to Haney's personal struggles with alcohol and substance abuse, in an attempt to unsettle him. Despite Garcia's efforts to disrupt his focus, Haney remained resolute in his confidence, steadfastly refusing to succumb to any psychological traps set by his opponent. As the fight approached, Ryan Garcia heightened his psychological warfare, making provocative remarks about Devin and his family during the final press conference. Just before the bout, Garcia targeted Devin's mother, engaging in a tense exchange where he made disparaging comments about her. In response, Haney calmly remarked that Garcia's behavior was questionable. He brought up, he brought up my mom, like, why? Which, I don't even know what, what was his point. You know, because at the end of the day, you know, I can see bringing up my dad because my dad is my coach and my dad is, you know, we... We're, 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 we're. In a later interview, Devin expressed his frustration with Garcia's recent comments, finding them unnecessary and disrespectful. While mentioning his father, who is also his coach, may be understandable given their boxing connection, Devin felt that bringing his mother into the discourse was inappropriate and irrelevant to their professional rivalry. He explained that such remarks about family members who are not involved in boxing crossed a personal boundary, making it challenging for him to maintain his usual composure. Despite this, Devin reaffirmed his focus on the fight, choosing to distance himself from Garcia's personal actions and choices outside the ring. His promoter, Eddie Hearn, also weighed in on the peculiar press conference, offering some unconventional predictions about what might transpire in the ring. It's been a whirlwind of chaos. With tensions running high, it feels inevitable that something unexpected will unfold, although I can't quite foresee what it might be. Hearn pondered aloud, perhaps Ryan will opt to stay in the locker room, or maybe his behavior will take a sudden and dangerous turn, posing a risk to Devin. It's not beyond the realm of possibility that he could do something completely unexpected, like biting or abruptly exiting the ring mid-fight. There's even the chance he might choose to quit on his stool. Hearn's concerns extended to the safety and welfare of those in Ryan Garcia's circle, highlighting the unease surrounding Garcia's conduct. It's clear someone's going through a tough time. Honestly, I'm puzzled how those closest to him can watch his actions and not feel uneasy about it. I seriously doubt they're comfortable with what's happening. Hearn shared with Fight Hub Tev. Devin's probably a bit pissed off or miffed by the whole build-up, really. I think Devin wants to do a job on him, and he's got to stay calm, you know? because I don't know where Ryan is at physically and mentally. I didn't think this fight was going to happen. Hearn overlooked Garcia's psychological tactics, which effectively rattled Devin before the fight, giving Garcia a significant advantage. Garcia's strategy revolved around weakening Devin mentally, a plan he executed with powerful punches in the ring and highlighted in a post-fight interview. Reflecting on Devin's performance, Hearn criticized his boxing and admitted surprise at Garcia's exceptional display. He noted Garcia's significant size advantage, likening him to a middleweight in the ring, which influenced the fight dynamics. Devin faced challenges early on, struggling to recover fully, but demonstrated resilience by repeatedly getting up after knockdowns, 
particularly notable in the 10th round. Hearn acknowledged the controversy surrounding Garcia's weight, which exceeded the limit by 3.2 pounds, impacting the fight's dynamics. He admitted his predictions were off, initially expecting Devin to win easily. However, Garcia's unexpected strength and strategy led to a different outcome, despite the intense build-up to the fight. Hearn gracefully acknowledged Garcia's victory, admitting he underestimated him and expressing anticipation for what lies ahead. While he considered the prospect of a rematch for Haney, he also acknowledged Garcia's potential matchups with other notable fighters like Gervanta Davis or Teofimo Lopez. Reflecting on the challenges of promoting fights in New York, he expressed a desire to avoid similar issues in the future. In contrast, Bill Haney described the match as unexpectedly challenging, attributing it to an early shot Devin received from which he never fully recovered. Despite this setback, Bill praised Devin's resilience, highlighting his determination to keep fighting despite being knocked down. He chose to focus on Devin's performance rather than dwelling on potential advantages Ryan Garcia may have had including the weight controversy, and maintained optimism for the future. Bill expressed a strong desire for a rematch, believing there were moments in the fight where Devin excelled, indicating its competitiveness. Despite the challenges, he refrained from criticizing the referee or fight conditions, choosing instead to focus on reviewing the footage and preparing for future opportunities. Bill opened up about the emotional difficulty of Devin's first professional loss, both as a father and trainer, planning to use it as a learning experience and minor setback for a major comeback. Throughout the interview, Bill's tone reflected pride in his son's resilience and a forward-looking perspective towards regaining momentum in Devin's career. Regarding Ryan Garcia, many assumed he lacked focus for this fight, potentially contributing to his loss against Devin. However, it turns out Garcia was actively attempting to unsettle Devin right up to the day of the fight. Garcia's trainer, Derek James, insisted that Garcia was focused and trained rigorously. He emphasized Garcia's dedication to his training regimen, noting that he tunes out distractions and focuses solely on his work in the gym. James, considered by some as the difference maker, has only worked with Garcia for one fight, but Garcia credits him for teaching him a technical style of boxing. James explained that he focuses on refining specific techniques with Garcia until they become second nature. Legs, open him up, and use his legs to make him, use his legs to make him uh, reach, use his legs. It was good, it was good. We gotta go. One more, everyone go to the... Following King Ree's victory, James expressed immense pride and satisfaction. In a brief interview with Boxing News, he highlighted the strategic execution that led to the win, emphasizing Ryan's adept use of mobility to dictate the fight's pace. James pointed out how Ryan's effective utilization of footwork forced Devin to overextend, a pivotal factor in securing the victory. Addressing doubts about Ryan's capabilities before the fight, James emphasized that this win showcased Ryan as one of the world's top fighters, vindicating their strategy and preparation. Ryan Garcia's triumph over Devin Haney wasn't merely a display of physical prowess, but also a demonstration of psychological warfare. Garcia engaged in a relentless campaign of mental tactics aimed at unsettling Haney, underscoring the importance of the mental aspect in boxing. His strategy involved continuous taunting and psychological pressure, persisting until the day of the fight. This strategy hinges on gaining a psychological upper hand, disrupting the opponent's mental equilibrium, and potentially causing them to veer off course from their game plan. Garcia's approach suggests a mindset beyond mere physical combat, akin to a strategic chess match where each move is meticulously calculated to elicit a reaction from Haney. From social media chabs to public remarks during press events, Garcia consistently aimed to chip away at Haney's confidence. This persistent mental barrage aimed to sow seeds of uncertainty in Haney's psyche, testing his resolve and concentration ahead of the highly awaited bout. While many attributed Garcia's physical prowess to his weight advantage, the psychological warfare arguably played a pivotal role, ultimately tilting the balance in his favor by fight time. It's possible that Garcia's mind games have already affected Haney's mental preparedness. This aspect of training often gets overlooked, but its impact on performance can't be overstated, especially in a sport where mental toughness is as crucial as physical fitness. But what's your take on Ryan Garcia's psychological tactics? Do you think they played a significant role in his victory? Share your thoughts in the comments. That's all for today. 
Don't forget to show some love by liking and subscribing to the channel. Hit the bell icon for instant notifications so you never miss a video like this. Thanks for tuning in and we'll catch you in the next one.